and a bloody dragon's gone missing. <laughs> but I know where to find a dragon. Ha! <laughs> Unfucking likely. You expect me to believe you've just happened to have seen the one fucking dragon loose in the world. Black scales all over with a red frill running down his back. That doesn't prove anything. Enough of this nonsense. We're done here, Asher. <laughs> I've got proof, you old fuck. <laughs> Tell me what this is, if not a bloody dragon tooth. Uh, I wouldn't know a dragon tooth from a basilisk dick. Croft, I've seen her dragon. <sighs> Oh, bugger me with a bloody spear. <laughs> if you're lying about this... Fair enough. Yeah, Come on, you Khaleesi. son of a bitch. The beast's name is Drogon. She'll want to hear about him right away. And don't think you're going to charm her with that fucking Asher grin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. Big day tomorrow, isn't it? Off to Craster's Keep. Assuming you're not too busy looking for your North Grove. I thought you didn't believe in it. Not saying I do. But if it was real... Can you trust Cotter with it? You ask me. There's just something off about him. Aside from him being an oily thief, I mean. Cotter's not a bad sort. I trust him. Even after he tried stealing your map? Do as you like. But if we're going out there tomorrow, in the middle of fucking nowhere, I'd want to know who I can trust. Finn! Get back on watch until your relief arrives. They're late. You think Mance Raider is going to wait for them? Right. Asshole. And Tuttle, you've got torches that have gone out. Keep them lit. Let the wildlings know we're still home. Light the torch is on fire. Okay, I see now. A 300 mile walk, and you're still in my way. I figured we'd settle things on the way to Craster's, but this is even better. I don't have any time for you anymore, Brit. I hate you. I see it. You hate me. Now let's move on. I had something more painful in mind. I did duty to my lord back on that bloody farm. If we're doing a proper job of it, what I get? Banished to the fucking wall! I never did tell you about your father, did I? We bled him at first, like a pig. Seemed only fear he should feel what it's like. Near the end, he could barely breathe. 
kept begging us to leave your sister alone. So I made sure he was still alive when she started screaming. It was the last thing your father ever heard. The more we sliced, the worse it got. You're not worth it. I didn't come here to chat, you fucking cunt. <laughs> Too bad your father didn't fight like that. I might still be alive. And I thought you were going to make this easy. Stop, damn it! I don't want to fight you! What's the matter? Don't you want to make your father proud? Let's see if you scream like your sister. Let's do this. Oh man, that was quick. You got lucky, pig farmer. You're going to slaughter me. Like my man back at your farm. At least let me have my sword. Keep it interesting. Or are you afraid? I swore my vows. I won't kill a brother. You're fucking pathetic, Tuttle. Just fucking finish it. Go on. We're done here. And before I get killed. Me fucked. Shit. These people are all scared, my lord. The White Hills have driven them away from the Ironwood forests. Out of the way. And now they come here, starving, looking for food. Food we don't have to spare. How can we support an army and reclaim our place in the north if we can't even feed a handful of peasants? Our backs are at the wall again, and this won't get better on its own. No one has more fight in them than Asher. I'm sure he and Malcolm will find us the army we need. We'd better hope we figure something out. With those white-hill bastards in our house, we must be wary. Come on, you! Let me go! You can't do this! Good. You're here. Look. Look at this. Did you see what this girl did? She attacked my man like an animal. Bloody bit me. Yeah, now it's her turn. She's gonna get what she has coming to her. This won't go unpunished. Let go of me! I don't care if she's your sister. Fine. You brought her to me. I'll deal with her. That's not for you to decide. I saw him stealing from our kitchen, and I told him to stop. He laid his hands on me, so I bit him. Bloody wench! I was only doing what had to be done. I warned you not to mistreat my men. Someone will have to answer for this. Do you hear me? 
Don't make this ugly. Your men are out of control. That's the problem here. It's your people who don't know the order of things. This girl's as untamed as a wildling. Don't listen to him, Roderick. And if you can't rein her in... Yeah, what about the rest of them? It's about time she saw a real lord again and learned proper discipline. My sister, she made a mistake. That's all. She is but a child, and this arrangement tests us all. I'll make sure it doesn't happen again. She's not the only one who's made mistakes. And the problem starts at the top, Roderick. Watch your tongue, boy. You yourself had the gall to strike one of my men. And that's the real problem with you foresters. You're too fucking proud. Always have been. It was bad enough when you were above us. And now it's even worse. Because you don't see how far you've fallen! Still high enough to look down at you. Now here's a brave and wise girl. A girl who knows how to speak the truth of things. No. A girl who should know her station. <laughs> That's how I like to see you foresters. Face down in the muck. <laughs> oh, foolish Roderick. Now I'll have to put you in your place. Not gonna take that. You will learn some fucking humility. Oh, this won't be the last lesson I teach you, foresters! Have you no honor? I'll run you through for that. I'll cut you down like straw men. I'm fine, Royland. I'm fine. I'll handle this. Even broken, he's twice the man you are. I bet this makes you angry, eh? You probably want to get up and hit me. But we know how that would go, don't we? Now, are you going to be a good little forester, learn your lesson, and stay down? Roderick! I'm going to stay down. Go do what that woman does. You go keep that promise. I said, get down! All the way down. <laughs> Get up, Roderick. Stay down, my lord. Your brother defied Ramsay Snow. He didn't know his place, but we made damn sure he learned. I'll probably have to teach Talia here. Unless you're a good little forester, you learn your place and stay down. Some forester is going to learn their lesson today. You don't have to do that, Lord Griff. Oh, I'll stay down. <laughs> Consider this evening, girl. Your brother learned the lesson for you. You'd be wise to follow his lead. As would all of you. Your lord is a smart man. First in his line that understands. Now you need to understand too. You can be Lord Roderick. So long as we all know who holds the reins here. Come on. You did the right thing, my son. You had to submit. Aye. A true Lord. But we... We let them win. Bigger picture of my friend. Do you see that? He still acts like he rules the house. But he's let his guard down. So, did he get what he wanted? Or did you? At the time, I... I wanted you to crush him. Now is not the time to fight. We'll let them think they've won, until we're ready to strike. And when you're better, things will be different. I asked Ethan not to change who he was. He promised he wouldn't, and look what happened. I now know that was childish of me. Damn straight.